But when you approach a girl, give her a time constraint. Tell her, hey, real quick, I, I'm kind of in a hurry right now, but I just saw you. You looked interesting. I wanted to come say hi. Now, here's what girls don't want in an approach. They don't want to not know why you're there. They want to know why you're there. Like, you got to let them know in the first 10 seconds, like, why are you approaching them? Basically, you want to be good at cold reading and making observations very quickly. And that doesn't mean you don't ask questions. You still want to ask questions, but you don't want to turn it into an interview. Now, here's what girls don't want in an approach. They don't want to not know why you're there. They want to know why you're there. Like, you got to let them know in the first 10 seconds, like, why are you approaching them? Why are you there? And that's why you need to make your, your intentions clear. Number two, they don't, they don't want to have a clown who's trying to impress them, who try, tries to entertain them, tries to say some bullshit joke or whatever, just trying to, to do that like, like a clown. You know, they don't want that. They don't want to wonder when or if you're going to leave because they want to know, okay, if this guy approaches me, is he, uh, how long is he going to stay? Like, does he have things to do? Does he have a life? Because if you're a guy who you're just like stopping her out of what she's doing and you're just asking her questions, questions and questions, and you're not letting her know that you have stuff to do later or that it's just going to be two, two minutes or whatever, then they start thinking like, okay, well, uh, I have to, I don't want this guy sticking with me like the whole afternoon. I, I got stuff to do, right? So they, they don't, they don't, they want to know like that you're going to leave at some point. That's why whenever you approach a woman, it's very, very intelligent i think to to give them a time constraint especially when you approach them during daytime always tell them like hey two minutes i know i know you're busy but i know it's random i just want to approach you real quick and what i'm doing there is i'm putting time constraints like hey two minutes hey two seconds hey i'm, not, I'm gonna go soon hey i have to meet some friends right now but i just saw you loved your look right something like that a time constraint because that allows her to know that okay i'm not gonna wonder for too long, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna be passing by real quick. You don't want to become an obstacle to what she's doing, especially if, if she's shopping or she's with friends, etc. You don't want to prevent them from doing what they're on their way to do. So that's one thing. Um, now, here's what they want, though. Number one, they want a sense of entitlement. They want to feel like, okay, you're a guy who's entitled. You're not like feeling like they're above you or whatever. You're you're her equal, um, and you you she. They gotta know that you feel deserving of them, kind of in a way. You don't pedestalize them. Number two, they want the freedom from outcome. They don't want to feel like you're too attached to, you know, the number or the whatever the outcome is. They want to feel like you're having a great day already and you're just sharing the fun and you don't care whether you're going to get their number or not or whatever. They want to feel like you're not attached to an outcome. Number three, self-amusement. They want to feel like you're having fun already um, you don't need any external validation or anything. You're, you just share the fun. That's the, the intent. And number four, they want to know, uh, basically they, they want to know like your intentions. And that's what I said. Like, basically they want to know that if you approach them, it's because you like them in some way. It's not just because you you're asking about the weather or something like that. Uh, and remember, you're not there to impress the girl. You're there to impress upon her. Uh, the type of man that you are. You're not there to impress the girl. You're there to impress upon her what kind of man you are, what kind of life you're living, what kind of standards you have in a way. And and then either she fits and she wants to join the adventure or not, right? That's that's what you, you need to have. So the frames before you approach a woman is you're having a good day already. You're here to share the fun. Number two, you will make her day. Your presence is a gift, always. Your presence is a gift. You're a high-value guy. You're on your way. You're taking a bit of time to give her some value. Well, it's a gift. Number three, the goal is to leave her better than, I, than you found her. Number four, you don't react, you act. Number uh, five, you're just seeing if she meets your standards. That's another thing. And you have plenty of choice. That's my frames. I have plenty of choice. I'm just seeing if she meets my standards. It's just practice. I'm going to leave her better off than I found her. I I'm going to make her day. My presence is a gift. You just practice. Let's go. Let me see if she's interesting. That's really the frame that you should have. Now, as I said, some smooth elements that you can add to your approach. So there's two smooth elements you can add to your approach, okay? Number one, time constraints. So when you approach a girl, give her a time constraint. Tell her, hey, real quick, I, I'm kind of in a hurry right now, but I just saw you. You looked interesting. I wanted to come say hi. What's your name? Are you from blah, blah, blah? Something like that, right? Or, hey, I have to go real quick, but I don't know. I don't know. I love your dress. 
how to come say hi, right? Something like that. Just like a time constraint so that she knows that you're not going to wander too much around. You're not going to basically linger around, sorry. And um, also, it adds some scarcity because anything that's valuable is scarce. And if you show her that your time is valuable and that, and that you don't have much time, that you have to go soon, it adds more value to you. Because they know that, okay, this guy's going to leave soon, so it makes you more valuable. It, more, it makes you appeal, appear more scarce. So that's one thing as well. Number two, statements of empathy. So basically, statements of empathy is, it's basically acknowledging what she might be thinking or what she might be doing. So number one, it takes the, the social pressure off. And number two, number two, it shows that you're socially savvy because it shows that you have like empathy. So what you want to do, for example, is let's say she's shopping and she has like shopping bags and like she's shopping like that. Well, if you approach her, you can acknowledge that. You can say, hey, I mean, it seems like you're shopping right now. I know it's random. I know you have to probably shop or whatever, but I just want to, I just wanted to take a minute just to, to come say hi, right? And you're acknowledging what she might be doing, what she may be thinking. If she's on the phone, for example, well, you can say, hey, I know you're on the phone. I know it's completely random. I know people usually don't do this, but I just want to come say hi, right? And you're acknowledging what she might be thinking because this is what girls think. Like they, they think, okay, what is this guy? It's weird. Like, why is he approaching me? And so if you acknowledge that first and you say, hey, I know it's random. I know it's kind of weird. Most people don't do that, but I just want to come say hi to you, right? And by doing that, you kind of like basically kill all her assumptions of like, oh, it's creepy, it's weird, it's just like this guy is, is weird because you, you're, you empathize with what she might be thinking, right? So, so that's very, very powerful, statements of empathy. One thing to know, and this is very important, is that when you approach women, they can be in various states. So essentially, every girl you encounter, essentially, every girl you encounter will be in some state. And at times, she's in a social state or sexual state, but there's going to be times where she's not going to be like she doesn't expect to meet a guy or she doesn't want to meet a guy. Um, and that's where you need to be wary of, of the state she's in. So let me explain. Every woman you approach will be in one of the following conditions. There's four conditions. Every woman you approach for the rest of your life, there's only going to be four conditions. Number one, her mind is elsewhere and she's not expecting to meet a guy. Her mind is elsewhere. She has an exam. She has something. She whatever. She doesn't think about guys at all. So that's number one. Number two, she's in a social or sexual state, but she hasn't noticed you. Like she didn't see you. You know, she hasn't noticed. Like she's going about her day. She didn't see you. That's number two. Number three, she's in a social or sexual state and she has noticed you. Like she, maybe you crossed eye contact or whatever. And number four, she wants you to approach. Like she's smiling at you. She's almost inviting you to approach. She, she's standing next to you, like she's looking, she's smiling. She's giving you an invite, basically. So those are the four states. Like number one, her mind is elsewhere. She's not expecting to meet you. Number two, she's in a social or sexual state, but she hasn't noticed you. Number three, she's in a social or sexual state and has noticed you. And number four, she wants you to approach her and like she's really giving you signs and she's giving you an invite. Now, girls in condition number four, the last one, this, it's pretty rare, to be honest. I mean, some of them will. I mean, we had yesterday girls who came up to you like, oh, your muscles are so, so big, so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. That's almost an invitation. That's a good sign. Uh, but most of the time, that's not going to be the case. So that's, that's one thing. Now, what, why do I say this? Why do I say that all these things, like that women are in those conditions and that women are in various states? What's the reason why I'm saying this? The reason why is because you, you must be aware that the woman you will meet might not be receptive in the first like 10, 15, 20 seconds because maybe they're not in the right state. Like her mind is, else, is elsewhere still and she needs a bit more time to settle in in the interaction because she wasn't expecting to meet you. And the thing is, a lot of guys, they don't get like uh, a super enthusiastic response in the first five seconds and they automatically assume, oh, the girl is not interested. But the, it, that might not be the case. That might be that, okay, maybe she hasn't expected you, like her mind was elsewhere. And so if you give her a bit of time to settle in and you, you just keep talking with her a little bit, she's going to get in the zone and she's going to get more comfortable, you know? So very often, guys will give up in the first 10 seconds of an approach and they self-eject every single time. And what I recommend is even if you get, if you, even if you don't get a super enthusiastic response in the first 10, 15, 20 seconds, 
that's fine. As long as she's still physically there, as, as long as she's still physically talking with you, that's all you need. The biggest indicator of interest is that a woman is still talking with you and she's still standing there. That's the biggest one. The rest, even if she's not like super giggly and smiley and she's not giving you like super long answers, that's fine. As long as she's still there, assume the best, stick to the set and let her settle in in the interaction. 